All right, so I went to my buddy Jeff's house several times recently in the past couple of months. And inside the contents of these bags is a whole bunch of diecast stuff we traded for. So in no particular order, I want to do a quick YouTube video and show off a lot of this random cool stuff. That is Radio Shack. Isn't that wild? Slot car resin mold. It's not wild. It almost looks like it's made of JB Weld. Ford EXP. I don't know how many people are going to know what the hell this even is. This is a wacky kind of, um, it emulated a Fox body Mustang, but it was a front drive Escort based weird little sport coupe thing. Front wheel drive, unfortunately. It's kind of Ford's almost K-car competitor in a way. Um, just a two-door Escort thing with weird frog eye headlights. Pretty wild cars. The detail on this is pretty cool. I think it's about 1 to 30 scale. Something like that. Alright, let's set that aside. Whoops. Alright. Another Miss Belvedere. Which is awesome because I bought one of these on eBay. But I opened it up. And kind of regretted it, so Jeff, being awesome, got me a duplicate. How cool is that? That's the non. That's the mint-looking one. They made the. Actually, here. Why am I telling you about it? Let's show you. This is a loose one, and this is the nasty, out of the vault, dirty one. Let's go back to what we're doing here. Uh, 1966 Dog Charger. How cool is that? M2, obviously. Two thousand nine. It's the early days of M2. Just a couple of years after Muscle Machines went under. And of course, Jeff ended up ended up scoring me a Hurst 69 Camaro that had a decent straight bumper and decent alignment on everything else. Even the tires are good. I found a couple, but they were all mangled. All right, what else do we got? I'm just gonna go in random order. These monograms are so awesome. Countach. F40, Testarossa. Alright. Got a couple of awesome vintage Johnny Lightnings here. So we got a 55 Crown Vic with a normal roof. And then we got a 55 Crown Vic with the green sunroof. What was that? These are from a while back. I would I'm gonna guess 98. Hmm. 
Oh, 2001. Okay. Still. The 20 years old. This piece is amazing. Let's open this one up. You can open this one up and set it up so you guys can really appreciate it for what it is. Here's the side view mirrors. They come on a tree. Horns and other details. So it's a Kenworth. And again, the horns and mirrors need to be installed after the fact. Which is a genius move by the way. That was in the program factory. Once you set up your railroad. This is meant to be HO scale, I believe. Has to be, right? Yeah. This has to be HO. One, yep, 1 to 87 scale. Tractor plus log trailer Miller trucking HO scale. Jeff pointed out, and he's right, there's no mention of a website anywhere on a lot of these older packages of things that he scored recently. Which means early to mid 90s is the newest they could be, probably. And there we go. 92. Look at that. Anyway, how cool is that? Alright, since we're doing HO scale right now, well, let's just keep going with HO scales, I should say. So here's this international fire truck. This is the affordable HO scale. Pretty cool. Bali. Alright, so we have a Mercedes C111. Viking. In Germany. Very nice detail. E21 BMW. Look at the detail on this thing. Wow. 1 to 87 scale, by the way. HO. 323i. So this is a Harpa. Made in West Germany. There's some indication of how old that is. We've got three. These are like lower end, but they're still pretty awesome. Custom Eldorados. Well, I'm calling it Custom Eldorado because I'm so used to talking about Hot Wheels. Cadillac Fleetwood Eldorados. 67s. But they could easily be made into 68. 69, 70s. Very basic, but... <laughs> Look at the, the size difference. They're both 1 to 87 scale. That, that's actually... That is fairly accurate representation of the size difference between the Eldorado and the little BMW. And then we've got a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. First generation... In the early years of the Cayenne. 356. 356B, actually. And that even calls out the year 1959. 1969 Chevy Camaro SS396. It says SS396. But in reality, it should actually say SSRS. Okay, sorry. Terrible quality um, video here because I didn't clean off some of the windows on these. I'm a little dusty. Um, 55 Bel Air. This one's awesome. This is really cool. Look at this. Carrera GT. The detailing on this. Beautiful. The license plate is perfect. Wow. The spoiler's extended. It's raised, whatever you want to call it. Pretty awesome. And then last but definitely not least, 300 SL Gullwing. Still probably the coolest Mercedes Benz ever made post World War II. So these are Malibu International. 
I want to say 2005. I'm going to guess on the year on these. I've seen these before. Maybe I don't have a year. Oh, manufactured by High Speed. Holy cow. Same company that did those. Uh, 1 to 43rd scale of McLaren F1s that I have. All right. So let's look at the rest of the stuff. We've got a Johnny Lightning Straight Freaks 69 Shelby GT500 Coupe. Pretty awesome. These are kind of ridiculous, but I love the paint job on this one. Absolutely love this one. It's absurd, but awesome. People are going crazy for the newer ones. This thing's cool. 2004. Alright, and then we have this. What I would imagine to be a fairly rare car that I've... I've never seen it in this packaging, actually. It's an Ertl Racing Champions. 69 Camaro. The Yenko. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open this one up right now. There you go. It's documented. It's on video. Here you go. 164 scale. He's never had side view mirrors. You know, that's one of my pet peeves. Um, I have one of these cars loose and opened. It's almost the exact same thing. It's a, I, I think the Le Mans Blue is darker. I'm almost certain. There's some variations, but in any case, I want to see this thing open. So this is, of course, from the Too Fast, Too Furious movie. At the time, you got to remember, you go back a few years. We did not have a good selection of 69 Camaro castings like we do now. Now with the recent Hot Wheels ID car, for instance. That's at a... It's even a better quality than this, and it's a better proportion. It still doesn't have side view mirrors, but... In this era, this was as good as it got. This was probably the nicest casting out there in a 164 scale for a 1969 Camaro. Definitely a Yenko. All right, so here we have a 1970 or so Datsun 510. Um, Jeff did an amazing job of detailing this one. So I haven't gotten around to doing this, and he had. And I guess he kind of just did it. As a little side project, and then me being such a not such a Datsun nerd, he decided to gift it to me. And this thing is pretty amazing, I gotta say. He invested a lot of time into this. If you've seen this casting and seen all of this is just body color, this is all red. The external cage, all these little details, the taillights, the bumper, the headlights, fog lights, spotlights on the roof. Spare tire, luggage, I mean everything. This is pretty amazing. So I got this one loose. But it's pretty amazing. I'm going to put that one aside as well. And I got this from my buddy Robert just because he, he likes anything 49 Merc related. And uh, Jeff had a bunch of these monster trucks and I just thought this was too crazy to not grab. It's it's clearly a 49 Mercury if you really look at it closely. And it's too crazy. Monster Mutt. How cool is that? So that's for Robert. And then this one is amazing. Look at this. Bill Jenkins. And this is a beautiful casting that I'm sure is very 
Jeff had mentioned that these are going for big money on eBay, and I 100% believe that. Look at that. Alright, I'm not going to open this right now, but this will get open soon. I have a few of these. The old opening hood Hot Wheels castings that I will be opening in the near future. I'm going to do a video of just a bunch of 67 Camaro metal base opened uh, with an opening hood castings that I will be opening. This one, of course, has rail riders. Very realistic wheels. And look at that. Kind of almost look like Keystone Classics, which is... Well, those would have been rally... Anyway. Amazing casting. Love it. Here's another one. Same basic series, the Hot Wheels Legends. And it's Zora Kristantov, the father of the Corvette, as they used to call him. With an absolutely... Led... This is a, a car that... Unless you're a Corvette nerd, you wouldn't really know the history of this car. But essentially, this is the early days of Corvettes being raced and put up against Jaguars and Shelby Cobras and all that other stuff. Pretty awesome. Well, actually predates the Cobra quite a bit. Alright, so let's look at the rest of these Hot Wheels. Just burn through these real quick. Got some good stuff here. Look at that. Uh, Broken surfboard variation. That 62 Chevy. Hello Kitty. Can't have too many of those between my daughters and just the, the fact that it is a treasure hunt, basically. It's a treasure hunt, isn't it? Maybe it's not literally a treasure hunt, but it might as well be. Let's try finding one. Nova, with basically kind of a weird variation of a deuce coupe stripe. Kind of a Yanko Nova. 2004 first editions. Love the white interior. We have a bone shaker. And another bone shaker. Oh, yeah. And, uh, no big deal. 2006 first edition. Absolutely mint shape. Thanks again, Jeff. I do appreciate all this stuff. This Thunderbird. Love these. I, I might even have this one, but I wasn't sure. And I, I couldn't say no to it when Jeff offered it. It is a great casting. And a lot of you guys know I love fast bed haulers. I think that's another great casting. All right, 50th anniversary. 65 Fort Ranchero. Classic 55 Nomad from a couple of years back from the 50th anniversary. Zamac 67 Pontiac Firebird. It's actually not even a Zamac. It's not called that. It's just the way they cast it that year. Um, 69 Chevelle SS396. I have the Super Treasure Hunt variation of this car and I actually like this one better. The Super Treasure Hunt is a weird mustardy yellow. I don't know. It is Spectra Flame, but it's not my cup of tea, necessarily. Now, this is cool. This Roadrunner. You see this casting quite a bit, even at, you know, in, in these toy bins and thrift stores and things like that. For some reason, you never see this red one. Usually yellow in the other colors. Then we have a 67 GTO. This is the Then and Now, I want to say, on a Muscle Mania. What was that? All right, what else? Viper Custom 2011 Chevy Camaro. Basically like a wide-body drift car almost. Can't have too many of these. I love this casting, and this one's actually in good shape. Doesn't have the usual issue of the front being gnarly or not painted properly or crooked headlights. Jeff picked that up for me because he knows I'm obsessed with the 993. Any air-cooled Porsche, but especially 993s. Um, Bone Speeder. Kind of a cool casting. Rear-engine dragster type. 
Model A Ford sort of hybrid. Uh, this is the first edition of this casting for 2016. Look at that. Then we got a 67 Oldsmobile. Uh, no. Yeah, 67 Oldsmobile. 442. Going on the muscle car theme. Um, yet another bone shaker. The blue 50th anniversary with the 50th anniversary wheels. 49 Ford. One of the better color variations of that one. 69 Corvette. This is the one that later got made into a super treasure hunt. Actually, it would look great next to that one. Let's zoom on over here and look at what I'm talking about. Um, where is it? Really? Where the heck did I go? It's odd. I thought it was in here, but apparently. I bumped it. It must be somewhere else because it's not on here. Which is very strange. I could have sworn it was actually still here. Oh, there we go. That's the super treasure hunt. Alright, let's go back. Let's finish this up. The square body that came out in the Retro Matchbox series for, I believe this is a, these are supposed to be Target exclusives, even though they pop up at dollar stores occasionally or whatnot. Um, time Shifter, kind of a cool casting for what it is. Especially in this variant when they first released it. It's sort of uh, Time of Taxi, but a panel van version. And we got a 67 Pontiac Firebird. 400. This one doesn't have the LS sticking out of it like that other one. Basically. Almost a photorealistic muscle car with some scallops on it. Um, and Super Treasure Hunt. How cool is that? I'm sure the card's a little gnarly, but who cares? Still a Super Treasure Hunt. How cool is that? And actually, you know what? Open this guy up. Metal base still. Of course, there's real riders on there. Very nice. Little hot rod pickup. No windshield. Very cool. Stanley Steamer for a minute. This guy fits here perfectly. This one I recently redid and put would look like more accurate brass headlights on it. One of the headlights is broken when I got it on eBay. Got a great deal on this casting. Um, drilled it apart, f fixed some stuff up that needed to be fixed. Um, the axles are all messed up. It's a long story, but I think the headlights are a big improvement. That's just a total sidetrack off of what we're doing here. Alrighty. So that's it. That's basically it. There you go. You even got to see a super treasure hunt opened up at the end. Thanks again, Jeff.